Welcome back to Observation. At the end of the last episode, we were searching for the schematic to these cooling network nodes that we still need to repair. So we've already looked at UN4, 3, ULB, and UC1. So let's start to look in other places. I guess we'll branch off from UC1, from Central. Let's go up here. Link C, Kirch Strait, and then Storage. So Link C. Explosive bolts. I guess I can explode them? I probably shouldn't just do that, right? Offline, thank god. <laughs> yeah, not much going on in here. Just a conduit. Kirch Strait. powering down the test cycle on the EFR reactor. I know I've been a pain in the ass about this, Jim, but it's been operational for weeks now, and the check routines have taken up so much of my time. This is time I should have spent on USES tech tests, and they're going to be pissed. What was Houston's problem with my results? I just don't understand why we're checking this over and over. Anyway, rant over. Reactor is on standby, ready for anything. Message end. What was Houston's problems? A problem with my results. Houston and those back on Earth definitely knew something was up with this mission. There was something special and fucked up about this mission. They were experimenting with something they shouldn't have. So we're starting from here. Oh, it's... Wait, if it's offline and unlock doesn't work, then I just can't open it, right? Yeah, it even says offline. Hold on. It's a laptop we can access. Well, it looks like it's... I mean, it's got its screen on. Should be able to access it, right? I guess not. This one's online, just locked. That goes to the Salyut 10, so that heads... Yeah, that even says here to RU-01. That heads to the Russian wing.
Close hatch. That one's already open. Okay, let's head down to storage. UN5. Another sphere. Hello, fellow sphere. Here's another plushie. This isn't the same storage room, right? We haven't been in this one. Like, this is the one... Where we saw the plushie? Obviously it's not. Okay, maybe we have been here then. Yeah, we have. Okay. Then let's go up. O2, mainframe. Ah. Link A. Just a corridor, probably nothing of interest. Spoke too soon. either. We just want what's best for them and what's least disruptive to observation. I'll go to Jim with Ailsa's sleep station idea. A change of scenery could be nice anyway. Message end. What's not just their imagination? Something odd was happening that was disrupting their sleep? San Mateo 4th. Christ, why is that so bright? This is the same type of hatch. I don't know if there's any point to pre-opening all of these hatches, but it's fun. down to Kepler 2. Ooh, this looks like a juicy room. By that I mean lots of information. That's not a body, is it? No. No, no, no. Just an unoccupied sleeping bag. Whew. That scared me. Jim. 
You asked for me on this mission and you know someone far less qualified could do this work. So what haven't you told me? What am I looking for? Keep me in the loop, Jim. Message ends. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yeah. Oh, that's a cool detail. That makes sense that something like that would exist. Those are like little uh, foot pedals that are, I think, kind of grippy on the bottom and then have a strap at the top so you can stay in place when you're working at the station. And it can also like slide left and right if you need to keep you anchored there while you're working. It's a neat detail. leaves one place. Endomed, which is biomedical. I see documents. I want to scan them, but I can't. Ooh, what's this? Biomedical results, Jim Elias, or Elias. A medical report on Captain Jim Elias showing high levels of cortisol. It is suggested that the captain is under excessive stress. That's it. That means I'm definitely missing something. Wait a minute. What is this? This is in the hub room. That's the missing part. It was just in this room. Oh, I figured. It's tricky to find. Okay. Uh, right. We got to combine it. Combine that. And coolant network schematic. Wait, what else do we combine it with? 
We have two network schematics? I thought we only got one. I'm a little bit confused about this, but looks like that'll work. Okay, roughly scribbled, but good enough. Uh, so this one is, um, does it, hold on, where does it say the number? It says it on it. 186. So 186 is config 2? So L2? Yeah. Uh, L2, which is up at the top right? Wait, is that the top right? 4, 3, 2, Oh, the top right two one is scribbled out. Actually, that one's wrong. So it's the middle left is the one that's correct. And for number two. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. That's where we start. Down, right, down, left, left. Down, right, down, left, left. I can see the light in here flashing. It's checking the system again. Whatever you're doing, keep going. What's this one's number? Uh, I guess let's move on to the next one. We'll get the last one by elimination. Seven two six. Oh, I haven't linked to this yet. Yeah, when I reloaded my save, by the way, it kind of undid all the links. Looks like that doesn't get saved. Seven two six. Seven two six is number three, which is there, you know, there. One, two, three, four, five. Five down, one, two, three, four, five. Five down, five from the left. One, two, three, four, five. One, one two, three, four, five. So we start here. Right, down, right, down, right, down, down. Right, down, right, down, right, down, down, down. Is there actually four in this room, or just two? Let's connect back to the hub and check. I think it's... yeah, it's just three. Oh, the last one is 490. That makes it easy. Four ninety is number four. Two from the top. Three from the left. Two from the top. Three from the left. It starts here. Oh, that just goes down. Or wait, no. Sorry, I'm going the opposite direction, aren't I? I am. Oops. Three from the bottom. No. Two from the bottom, three from the left. One, two. Here. And just up. Oh, you can actually go too far. It doesn't stop you. You have to stop. Stop with two spaces remaining. Don't know if my babbling makes any sense to you, but it makes sense in my head. It's funny the different ways people conceptualize different things. The way to describe something, the way to remember something, for me, probably doesn't make any sense to most people. Okay, start each node and confirm, then initiate hub controller and confirm. So, start. Start the coolant network node. Uh, is there a particular order we need to do them in? I don't think so. 726. Four ninety. One eighty six. And then initiate hub controller. Uh, 
Yes. Good job, Sam. That'll allow us or anyone else access to the Universal Modules 3 and 4 as well as the Shenzo Arc. We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to Saturn caused us to shake. Wait, what? Saturn? Yeah. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. I'd say it's a long story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Shit. Saturn? I mean... Christ, I don't know where to begin. Look, I'll, I'll head outside and try to get this sorted. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. Okay, got access to the Chinese Space Agency arm now. Just three places. Three nodes. Still don't have access to the sphere. Oh, we have some alerts. Crew tracker sensors. System reset detected. Crew tracker sensors offline. Errors detected. Three locations multiple. The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. Okay, I guess before I do that, let's explore this new arm. Um, can we move freely between here and the other areas? Uh, in the... Yes. Yeah, we can even go back to EAS. We've accessed everything except the Russian arm now. Yeah, check out the Chinese arm. Here's crew quarters. Why can't I turn that power on? I need to be closer. There we go. Message for the Chinese Climate Initiative via Houston, Sam. Elsa Yang on board observation here. I'm leaving an overnight data drop on your system, which should provide the final readings for analysis and presentation at the Beijing Climate Congress next month. I said before, but it bears repeating. If any unexpected delegates sign up, I can make myself available for translation duties. The only language I get to use up here is English, and I need to keep the wheel spinning. Offline. Offline. That's it. That's Ailsa, I think. Picture of Ailsa. Let's move on to Heisheng. Climatology Thesis. Applied climat Climatology for Stellar Body Observation by Dr. A. Yang. Chinese Climate Initiative slash CAS CASA. Summary. This thesis details advanced climate study techniques for application to non-Earth objects. 
utilizing the advanced technological strides made as part of the observation mission. Through the use of machine learning AI, scope observations and live data can be simulated and explored in real time. So this is how you ended up on the station. Good read, Stoss. That looks important. Hatch schematic for the Chinese arm. I can combine it? Why does it need to be combined? It looks completely intact. So this starting node, this corrupted data, that's saying that's going to be the final product. So I'm not actually selecting a thing to combine yet. That's just going to be the finished thing. Then I need to use the actual fragments. Which apparently is... Was that it? No, I thought maybe the exclamation mark meant that's what I needed to select, but I think that just means I haven't looked it over before. It's not going to be a message. Why is this especially colored? I think it's exclamation mark plus that ring. That? So wait, why does it get combined with the other thing? I don't get it. You don't really understand what we just did. I guess it wasn't to fix the bits we already found, but... Somehow combining them gave us a new bit of information? I don't understand that. Anyway, loss. Chinese arm. Uh... Module Origin Usage and Remarks. Origin, originally part of the CASA Chinese Climate Initiative's Shenzhou 12 mission. The repurposed CNR module was the last to be attached to the loss in late 2025. Usage. Research into atmospheric conditions and associated changes from an orbital position. Remarks. This module is also of vital importance to international effort to analyze and understand the unprecedented acceleration of climate change since 2020, and to find a way to avoid or delay global catastrophe. This mission is secondary to the overall observation mission, but still of vital importance. I like that all of these different colored node connections actually stay on here. It's not just there while you're reconstructing the thing, but it stays. Looks pretty cool. Looking forward to filling this up with all sorts of different colored lines. Wait, hold to scan. I already scanned it. Yeah. Okay. Wencheng. No. Oh. Well, in that case, let's get on trying to fix the crew tracker sensors. So location, one of them is UN-01. that old icon of like a broken image. I don't know if that's exactly the sort of icon, but god, it reminds me of the broken image icon from like Internet Explorer I don't know, 10 years ago or something. Enable sensor power control interface, enable sensor calibration test. I guess power control interface? Sensor disabled. Uh, can I change this? Sensor enabled. Calibration tests. Spot check system available. Conversion key white to green. Uh, 
Am I supposed to, like, click those? Ah. Sensor one is online and receiving data. Good work. Okay, you in three. Feels good bringing the station back online. God knows we need data. What the hell happened? Where are we? What do we do? UN6. Give you any useful data? Crew tracker is online. Where's my crew, Sam? 